Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm Charlie. Today I got Ford Focus 2015 model and have a look. We already done the diagnostic last week, but however, I'm go through with you what's going and what's happened here. <coughs> First of all, I'm going to start the car. City stop not available basically it's saying stop start function not available and you can see abs light on and the bottom one traction control basically if your car has a like this problem could be traction control could be abs could be engine control module could be something related to the maybe at blue could be the dpf if some reason your dashboard illuminate one light one morning light as a experience i know stop start function mostly not working because of the safety purpose imaging if you run with the car like this warning light when you stop somewhere the onboard computer identify car will not start because of this fault that's why they automatically disable stop start function once you fix this one once you fix the warning light, I know it's going to be okay 90%. If it's not, sometimes battery, sometimes could be the wiring. But most time, if you see like this problem, don't worry about the, your stop start. Because of this warning light, your stop start deactivate. That's the problem, right? Okay, like this problem, I can't, assuming and work, I need a computer support to find out what's going on here. This is the... 1 litre engine, eco boost, another problem engine basically. I'm going to take a faulty code under anti lock brake. Right, I got the faulty code C003729 rear left wheel speed sensor. Then another faulty code for the steering wheel position sensor i feeling that one also because of the wheel speed sensor steering angle sensor not taking the correct reading that's why your bottom traction control light on because of the steering angle sensor and another faulty code for the c 00374a left rear wheel speed sensor yeah basically i feeling something not right rear left wheel speed sensor or some people call abs sensor some people call speed sensor whatever old name for the one sensor first of all i'm going to talk about the sensor what's the abs sensor abs sensor mean normally vehicle has a two braking system one is the hydraulic and the one is the ABS. Also, the if ABS fail, people can drive the car, but it's not recommended, but they drive. Imagine this scenario, this customer, now nearly more than a week, he draw with this light on. Yeah, basically, you can drive, but it's not recommended because basically vehicle has a two braking system. First is hydraulic braking system, that's uh, the normal four wheel braking system, like uh, old fashioned, and uh, this is called electronic braking system or ABS braking system. That electronic or ABS braking system make your car steady while you bra braking. Basically, if you have a old school, old age, when you brake the car, sometimes you have to hold the steering firmly without turning to the other side brake because the, when you apply the brake all cars sometimes pull into the one side left or right then you have to hold the steering firm and apply the brake then the car will stop straight way otherwise car pull into the one side because of that one they introduce in the abs system abs system also very important to the car because otherwise your car not stop stable it's going sideways because that ABS sensor issue electronic signal to the your four wheels and wheel controlling equal. 
because the sometime your hydraulic brake, one side more brake, other side less brake, then the way I use the less brake, it's pulling to the opposite way. Because of that, electronically that ABS unit issuing electronic shock for the whole four wheel and make it steady stop. Because of that, it's very important. But if you ask me, Charlie, can I drive my car without repairing this one? I'm going to say yes, but it's not recommended and it's not safety. Your life be careful. If you see like this warning message, better to take a quick action. Then you are fine, car fine, your life fine. Okay, at the moment now you know what the sensor doing. If you have any more question, please comment below, ask me, I'll help you. And also now, second step, when you see like this problem, don't going to do the straight repair. Don't going to change the sensor, don't going to change the wheel bearing. No, then after that, use your computer, exit from menu, exit and go to the data system. Right, now, you can see here wheel speed sensor left front wheel speed sensor left rear this is the one i am suspect at the moment even without doing anything you can see wheel speed sensor left front zero wheel speed sensor left rear 158 this is not right because the other two sensors, right front, rear, right rear, all zero. Then I can confirm something not right this sensor, not the wheel bearing, it's a sensor. And also I'm going to take a car backward and forward and show you what's going on for the these figures. It's need to change same frequency. If it, this one one, other all three also need to be one if it top one five other also need to be five same figure okay i'm going to take backward and forward and show you what's going on here have a look what happened to the figures right you all saw other three wheels changing these figures, but this one stay 158, right. Now, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to open rear passenger side wheel and have a look what's going on physically. If I can see wire damage or something, easy easy identification. If it not, I'm going to change sensor as a first step and have a look what's going on it could be sensor could be wiring or could be something related to the that side wheel however too early to comment anything first of all i'm going to open the wheel and have a look what's going on there right basically we couldn't find any problem at the wiring or the problem the sensor basically we replace sensor this is the all sensor it's hold with one torque screw right behind of this wheel i'll going to show you in a minute and also this is from the ford this is the part number is someone looking the part number this is the part number from the ford and also customer supply the wire also for the safer side we already changed the wire also if you look in the part number, this is the part number. And also, I'm going to show underneath what's going on. Right, this is the sensor inside here. This is the new wire. It's going through the wheel latch. You can follow the wire. When you go through the wire, you can find the connector there. We already changed. It's not hard to change, but take your own time and use WD-40 then take your own time you will be fine that's why we didn't film that one because it's not 
harder job right okay we done everything now what we going to do we going to install the tire and the check with the computer okay we change the sensor and the wire and now i didn't touch my computer i'm going to start the car right still light on as it is right next step i'm going to exit from this menu right i'll just exit from the menu what happened here something 158 yeah it's missing yeah you can see here it's missing still but your warning light on right i'm not going to use the computer i'm going to leave the computer as it is and i'm going to take to the road test and have a look what's going on here right you can see now traction control light disappeared but still abs light on i'll took it like a 500 yards still i'm reversing out from my garage yeah Right, I'll just took it to the road. Yeah, I'm going forward now. Right, just read to the 20 miles per hour. That light disappeared. So, yeah, all light disappeared now. No any funny light at the dashboard. Right, I'm going back to the garage. Yeah, now you have another idea. If you go to the, when you go to the garage and do the diagnostic, come back home and you can do the repair your own like this. And after that, you don't want to the go to garage and you can fix yourself. Once you've done the repair, go for a small spin. Now it's fine. Right. Now I'm happy about my repair. But before that, I'm going to check with the computer any faulty code left for the ABS because sometimes it's illuminate the warning, but he can't delete himself. We have to give the site support for the deleting this thing. Yeah, we'll see what's going on here. Okay, right. Right. I'm going back to the code menu. Still there, I'm going to delete this memory because on board computer can delete himself, but it's take a maybe 20, 30 start off, start off, then it's take a long. Then because of that, I'm going to clear. It's now cleared. Go back. Continue, code menu, memory, right, you can see, no present code, right. Now, you know, if your vehicle has a like this problem, what to do, what's the ABS sensor doing, you have a rough idea, how we going to repair, how we going to diagnostic, yeah, all fine at the moment, another happy customer. And also, if you have any question, comment, suggestion, mention below. I'll come back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. See you with the next video.